Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. Today I want to up up these two Stenhopias that I have. I have uh, two of them and I have them sitting here on the uh, shelf, almost on the floor. And they're doing fine. These are fairly new for me, but um, not that big plants yet. But I want to do a repot on them. This is the setup that I have to keep them uh, as moist as I can. They like the humidity around them, so therefore I have these faces. But if they decide to flower, the spikes probably come out uh, underneath the pot. So therefore I cannot have them in the cell watering setup. But uh, like I said, I want to up pot them because uh, this one is uh, now getting uh, towards the edge of the pot. It would be fine for uh, one growing season, I think. But um, I want to do a repot anyhow because of the, uh, like I said, the holes in the pots are not uh, big enough uh, for a flower spike to come through. So I didn't do my research there, I think. <laughs> so um, I should have done, uh, put them up in a uh, bit of different pot there. Not that these are blooming size, I think they need to be a little bit bigger, but they are beautifully growing. So I thought I uh, will make a video about this and we will have a look um, at the orchids, at the roots of course and my uh, new setup. So we now are in the uh, orchid room where I have my potting table and where I do all the uh, repottings and uppottings. But this is basically the system that I uh, came up with. I have a glass vase which uh, has some moss and some other <laughs> plants growing in it to keep the humidity quite high and I had these baskets made with the sticks so I can hang it uh, above the uh, uh, in the glass face so they uh, if they would spike they can uh, come out but like I said in the intro I have uh, very tiny um, holes in this basket so yeah if it ever wanted to try uh, to make a flower spike it probably wouldn't come uh, through these little tiny holes so I knew that, but I already had them um, when I had them already a few months in this uh, setup. And also they are uh, probably a bit too small yet to bloom. So I thought I will le let them grow. And once the time there is, uh, I will uh, repot them in a yeah, different setup. As you can see, this one is uh, working on a new growth. And actually this one is maturing two of new growths and it is starting another one here. So this is probably a nice time to uh, repot them, or basically uh, actually up pot them. And uh, what I came up with is a sort of a similar system, but only with a, bigger, with a bigger basket and with bigger holes in it. So I will grab my, um, my stuff and we will uh, start uh, with this one and uh, see if we can make a beautiful new home for it. So what I uh, did just now off camera is I did uh, get uh, the top layer of uh, uh, grid off. Um, so that's what I first did, but it uh, takes a bit of time, so therefore I thought I don't uh, need to film this, but I will keep them separate. And uh, I see quite a lot of uh, roots, at least on the upper side of the pot, so that's good, I think. Um, so hopefully we see more uh, roots inside the pot as well. I hope I am in screen. So I'm gonna take these out first, I think. Yeah. Basically the hangers that I did, uh, did make. Let's try to get them out. And there they are. And let's get the orchid out of the basket. Try to be careful because of the new growth, of course. Slowly try to lift it out of its spot. There we go. This looks beautiful. Kind of quite a lot of roots, as you can see. So this is. Uh, I do not need to do uh, anything about that. That's beautiful, of course. I'm going to lay it down on its side very easily. I'm going to put a pot there and grab the next pot quite a, a few sizes up as you can see but as you can also can see is that I made quite a lot of big holes inside of the pot and also on the 
side of the pot. Did I say side twice? On the bottom of the pot and on the sides of the pot. So, um, I need another one of these guys. Um, I like to use the other pot to see that I can, uh, I need a, a little bit of a layer before I start uh, putting the arcade in. So and that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to use my pumice, my bigger pumice because of the bigger holes. The small pumice would uh, fall through the, through the holes. And as you can see, this arcade is uh, in a mixture of uh, pumice as well, and also some Cintiq. Because of the water, this holds, uh, Cintiq holds quite a bit of water, so that uh, helps me a little bit uh, with, um, with watering the arcade uh, to get it, uh, let it get more uh, water. But I don't think I need any more Cintiq. I'm just going to leave this, I'm going to put it up, and I will fill it uh, with uh, the pumice. And um, we will see... Um, how we go from there, but uh, something pops in mind. Um, just give me a second. I will be right back, and I will talk about what I uh, what just did pop in my mind with the idea. And I am back. Uh, I did thought of this before, not at this moment, but then it uh, pop it did pop again uh, uh, in my head. Um, as an idea, I thought, well, maybe we can use this uh, this wire. It's a wicking wire uh, because I want this basket in the same sort of uh, setup as I had them. Uh, let me show it to you. I have these uh, these glass faces that I did use for my uh, vendas, but I now put them up in terracotta pots. So I have these around. I thought maybe I can put this big basket in here. So, and I can fill it up with water and then have this wicking wire in that water and that probably may um, keep this pot wet. So it's a sort of self-watering setup for my Stanhopias. And if I see um, flower spikes appearing, I need to come up with a system that I can have this hang, hanging like this. Or when a flower spike should come out of the bottom, I have some time to um, notice the flower spike and then to try to adjust it. Uh, I think I then will get a uh, hook, some so plastic hooks you see, you can click them on the basket and you can then hang them. So probably I will find uh, some sort of system then. But that's for then, I know uh, now need, do not need to um, have some concerns about that because I think I will come up with a plan. But I could have it hang like this so the flower spike can uh, grow over the side of the face or something like that. But for now I thought yeah it would be nice to try a, a sort of new setup uh, with that uh, wicking wire. So therefore I'm going to remove the pumice and start over. Because I first want to have that wire in of course. Let me see. This is quite long, so I need quite a lot of this, I think. Put it through a hole, like that. Try to get it out on the, on the bottom of the pot. And this is a little bit of the idea. You see the wire laying on, laying on the bottom of this face. If I fill it up with water, it should be able to... Um, Soak that water up and bring it into the pot around the roots of the arcade and the arcade can then drink and eat. That's the plan, but I don't know if it works, but I uh, like to try things out, why not? So I'm going to cut this uh, no, a little bit longer because I want to have it around the arcade root, so I need quite a lot of this, uh, this wire. And I have a lot of this, so I can uh, really make a nice test out of this, sort of test. So I grow them still inorganically, almost self-watering. That's the plan. Uh, let me see. Let me grab this. Took this out as well, so it can hang like that. Then I will get this extra part 
of wire out of the pot and as I fill up the pot I will uh, put this in. Um, so it probably will uh, hold the pot completely moisture uh, also at the top uh, portion so we don't have a, a dry layer or something like that. So let's start again. Luckily it did uh, pop in mind uh, on time. I didn't have the plant already in it. So, yeah, but no, this is not handy. Uh, yeah, I need, it. I need this. I'm sorry. There will be some pumice falling through the holes, but that's okay. I thought uh, for a second I could put the basket back in, a, in this blue tray, but this is easier. Now I can have the wire hanging around the face and that's easier when I put a plant in again. So then I keep it like this and I will get the pumice out in a second. The, uh, the pumice that did fall in the face of course. The rest of the pumice needs to stay in a pot of course. <laughs> So let's have a look, let's see if this works. So far so good, I think. Um, and I think I'm not going to put the back end of the arcade uh, way uh, to the side of the pot, because the other one is also starting a new growth from an older bulb. So therefore I think I'm going to keep this uh, around the middle of the pot, somewhere like that. And I'm going to put some wire around this first, like whoops, like this, and then I will fill it up with uh, some pumice again. Like this. And repeat that. Well actually I need a little bit more. As I can see. Oops. It was falling on the floor. That's not handy. A little bit more, and then we go again. And let's try to get it over the plane. This is not very handy. This is the first time that I do something like this. But here we are. I did make another round with this wire and I have, li have a little bit left, so I'll keep that for the last section. Last round, I do not, I do not have enough, but I think it's okay. New roots are starting to come from that new growth, so that's a nice place to put it, I think. If it stays moist, of course, I have no idea. But like I said, I'm just gonna try it and see. I really like the look of it. I really like the look of uh, pebbles and uh, pumice inside of the pot. It's just a personal uh, taste, of course, but yeah, I really, really like it. Again, we will fill it up with a top layer of pebbles. But I need more, of course, because this basket is uh, way bigger than uh, the previous one. Beautiful pebbles. I really like the, like the look of it. Of pebbles. Turn this a little bit. Try 
try to be uh, careful because I have uh, new growing tips of the roots there from that new growth. So I uh, want to keep them, of course. I'm really happy with that. This, uh, th these guys are doing fairly well for me. Like I said, I'm a really beginner <laughs> when it comes to stenhopias. This is, I only have two and I, uh, in December I have them a year. So that's not that long. They did fairly well in this setup, this previous setup. So I think this might work. But they really like uh, the water, so I uh, try to water them at least every two days. But if I'm in the greenhouse, I would just water them every day. They, uh, they really like the water. But I hope I can now skip a few days when I have some water in here. So it's a sort of self-watering setup. With room for spikes to, uh, to come out. And like I said, if I see a spike uh, one day appearing here, I will, uh, will uh, have it hang above the vase so the spike can develop uh, properly, of course. So I need to keep an eye on that, but I think these guys are a little bit too young, like I said, to, uh, to spike. I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think so. So, so that's basically it. I think it's, uh, it, it's uh, a bit strange, but I like I really like the look of it. And uh, I, oh, I'm sorry, I cannot adjust the camera, but um, this is basically how the plant is looking like. There's an old leaf there. I should could cut it off. Or maybe I can break it off. Yes, this looks a little bit better. Let's throw it away. So I think this is beautiful centered in a pot. And we have some years for growth and we can, uh, in those years, we can try uh, out this, uh, this setup. So um, I will give this a uh, flush under the, uh, not under the tap, with all water, but uh, in, in the sink. And then I will uh, put it back and we will uh, do the, exactly the same thing with the other one. So I will be uh, right back. So, and here we are with the second one. The other tag I couldn't read anymore. I have it in my notes somewhere, but I couldn't read the tag. Uh, this is the Stenhopia nigerio viola, violacea, I'm sorry, violacea, something like that. Nigerio, nigerio violacea. And I bought them on the 20th of uh, December in 2020. So I don't even have them a year yet. So I'm, uh, like I said, fairly new to them. But that's okay. And this one, um, I really like to, uh, to try different uh, genera of orchids. And this one has a new growth here, maturing a new growth and one here. And it started uh, this one um, here on an older bulb. That was the bulb I was referring to uh, with the other one. So I tried to uh, put this in the middle again. But this is the same setup. And uh, the mass is looking a little bit uh, gross actually. So I will not uh, use moss anymore. I think it's it's easier when I have a clean vase that I can uh, can just uh, clean uh, uh, very easily uh, with moss in. It's uh, it's uh, very annoying and it gets really green from the algae, etc. So, uh, but anyhow, this is the same sort of situation here. Let's get this, these sticks out. And there we are, and I had this one anchored. They didn't, both didn't have much roots when I uh, did uh, receive them. But I think the both of them will have, the, the first one had a beautiful root system as we saw, and I think this one will have a good root system as well, I think. What I now will do is I will get the top layer off and then, then I will be back and we will unpot this uh, together. So I did uh, get most of the pebbles off, I did have have them in this uh, pot again, so we can reuse them. So here we go again, and we will uh, try to get it out of that pot. And I'm not trying to break any new growth, that would be very sad, of course. So try to get it out very easily, as easy as possible. This has some roots underneath here, I probably, yeah. And there's a spider. Just a second, you guys. I don't like spiders that much. So, there you go. <laughs> and it has a new growing root there, just above my finger, that white little dot. 
Hopefully I can save it. I don't think so because it's already a bit attached to the pots, but let's see how that goes. Uh, one is stuck, this one I think. Yeah, there we go. And as well, I'm sorry, as well uh, quite some roots there. I'm really happy growing tips there, so this is beautiful. Also, same setup, medium wise, Cintiq with pumice. Yeah, really, in, uh, I'm in, in really impressed. I, they did uh, very well for me. So, I'm gonna put it here. No, this is not handy. I need to have it here. Switch these guys. Like this. And uh, let's try to make a similar setup. Let's turn it a little bit like this. So we're gonna grab that cotton wire again, put it through the holes, one of the holes of the pot. I'm sorry, the camera angle is a little bit uh, not so handy for me, but here we go. <laughs> that I think and then we need a bit extra for uh, to put around in a pot probably something like this there we go put this in as well through a one of these holes in the pot as you can see um, yeah let's grab this one and I pull it down, there we go, like this, put it back, and let's see, do we have some, yeah, we have a bit more left than the first one, I think I learned uh, my lesson, <laughs> could, uh, could have used a little bit more wire with the other one, but I think it's okay. So, once again, I will start filling this up, the, the bottom of the pot with uh, with them the uh, pumice, the big pumice. So let's grab that, put it in. I think this is enough and then we will grab the plant. Like I said, in the middle of the pot because we have three growing directions on this guy here and there as we saw earlier on so I will now try to uh, put this in this wire a little bit around the uh, around the roots something like that and we will fill it up with some pumice again Oops. I'm really making a mess, as you can hear <laughs> and see. Let's grab those stones. The rocks, the pumice. Oh, there goes one again. Where is it? Oh, it's not here. Did go, uh, it did go underneath the table, I think. But if you stand on them, it's not very uh, pleasant for your feet. <laughs> They probably break, but still, you can feel it. It's not like Lekka. Lekka hardly breaks, but this, these guys break up. It turn, they turn into dust, a sort of dust. But like I said, it doesn't feel very uh, very nice underneath your toes or underneath your feet. <laughs> but, uh, so I try to avoid it. Okay, another round with this wire. And you can see now I have way more left, so that's a little bit easier. But yeah, this is the first time, so uh, we always learn a bit, right? So, uh, and that's okay. I probably shouldn't have this much in my scope. <laughs> Just a little less, makes it a little bit easier to move it around. Like 
like that. And then the last turn with the wire, just around the roots. Hopefully to keep them nice and moist, to keep it nice moist, I should say. <laughs> and put in another layer of Cintiq. No, not Cintiq, uh, Pumice, I'm sorry. few left from the other pot where it came from so I will reuse them for this setup yes. and yeah I think that's enough could have a little bit uh, probably a little bit more in there but I think it's okay and that uh, gives me a little bit more room for the pebbles the top layer so let's grab them Of course, <laughs> it's one of those days, I think. <laughs> I dropped a pebble on the floor. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Sometimes you have those days when uh, you let uh, things drop quite quickly. Apparently, I have one of those days. Well, as long as I don't drop these orchids, because I don't have any more of these the same size uh, glass faces. So, uh, yeah, let's hope everything goes well from now on. No more dropping. I'm sorry for the noise. But I think we are done with that. Yes! And I have the tag here, so put it. Uh, let's put it in again. I will uh, give this a flush, as, the did, uh, as I did with the other one, and then we will have a look at the, at the both of them. So what I didn't uh, mention yet, but I, these pots have two of these uh, very small yeah, slits on the side of the pot. We have one here and one there. And it was very handy, or is very handy, because I put a cable tie through, the, through the, that hole and that one in the back. So I can uh, grab this like this and pull it out. Because it was very uh, hard for me to get it out of this pot. After I uh, did shut down the camera, I, uh, it was a little bit uh, trying and error, but I didn't drop it. I know it's, it's a day like that. I didn't drop it, luckily. But uh, then I saw these uh, little slots here on the sides of the pot. Two of them, so it's uh, basically if it uh, was made for it. <laughs> Put a cable tie in it, also a black one, so uh, you don't notice it as much. Uh, in my opinion, of course. But um, yeah, I really, uh, really like that, so I can uh, pull it now out of its uh, face quite, uh, quite easily. I did the same thing with the other one, uh, of course. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them back in the greenhouse and we will have a look at the complete setup, because I really, really like the setup. So let's put them back at their uh, place. So we are back in the uh, in the greenhouse. This is the place where they originally uh, did uh, stand as well, and the shelf. And I put them back, and luckily they do fit. There's a little bit room left, but as you can see here, I could put up uh, the shelf a little bit if necessary. But the leaves aren't touching the this uh, upper shelf yet so i think so far so good but i could adjust it if needed i must admit i had before this as you saw i had them sort of hanging on top of the the uh, face but i really like this more i really uh, i find it uh, kind of decorative uh, how they look now uh it's personal taste of course but um if you have them for example have have them in the home and you want to do a little bit more uh, you want it to make a little bit nicer to look at you could put some glass pebbles on the bottom, for example. Maybe some blue ones or some red ones. Just uh, depending on the colors you like, of course. Or some rainbow colors, whatever you like. <laughs> and to make it, uh, I think, a kind of nice setup. And um, as far as I know, these plants do really like uh, have their water, so they don't like to dry uh, out. 
and therefore they are not really suited for growing in, indoors but maybe in this kind of setup you can uh, get give them more humidity or at least around the roots and now we will check them um, quite often to see if it really stays moist in a pot so if you are uh, curious I will do absolutely some updates and but yeah probably this is a nice setup if you want to grow them or try them in, in indoors in the home and I must I don't have footage from it but when I did receive them they barely had any roots probably one or two I put them in uh, self-watering right away that that other setup that we saw that was the first setup and they really took off they really enjoy it in my in my opinion I don't feed them uh, lots just regularly like my um, other orchids but these guys I do sort of flush I don't not, not really flush but I water them from the top of the pot and the water will run through so basically it's flushing but I really want to keep the moisture in the pot so therefore these guys do receive uh, less fertilizer than the other ones because I use more clean RO water in between I adjust the RO water I keep um, forgetting to say that but if I use pure RO water I always adjust the pH let's say around 6 or 6.3 somewhere there and then I will give them a bit of water what I now did is a teeny tiny of seaweed in the pot not much because they had a beautiful root system but just to make them a little bit more happy quicker that's that's how I think because they really like the seaweed and but too much is not good but I have a little bit in there and um, yeah we will see I don't think they need a uh, adjustment too much but we did have a look at the root system this was a beautiful uh, opportunity and as you saw I didn't adjust anything I was really really happy I'm kind of impressed to be uh, be honest because I, when I received them they had basically no root so uh, yeah, I'm really happy this one is making one new growth but the other one next to it did mature here so that's uh, that's good this one is now working on three new growths and that's the first three here so that one has two grown in my care and that one three so uh, with nice roots growing root tips so I think uh, this uh, will work out uh, great so this is it for now as usual if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them uh, uh, <laughs> leave them in the comment section and I will get to them as soon as I can for now thank you for watching I really hope you enjoy this. I really like this project, so please let me know. And uh, like I said, we will do uh, some updates soon. So for now, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.